Uh, hello. So, uh, <coughs> in this particular course, we'll be seeing about uh, uh, Red Hat. So, what I have uh, taken is uh, the Red Hat uh, Certified Engineer course, uh, wherein there are three papers combined into one. One is RH033. Next one is RH0, uh, RH133 and RH233. Okay. So, first, let us start with RH033, in which uh, the first unit is going to be the basic commands. <coughs> so, I am Bala Subramaniam. Um, I'm going to take this particular course. Okay. So, next. <coughs> In basic commands. Um, so, here we will see what are the basic commands which we will use in uh, Red Hat and uh, most of these commands will work in other linux kernel based operating system like fedora centos and currently i am running on centos right now okay and um, uh, ubuntu and of course red hat okay uh, coming to the basic commands so you will be typing a command after the pound or the dollar symbol okay these represent the prompt after which you can type in the commands then uh, this particular command of pwd will tell you where you are currently inside the file system okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open up the terminal so terminal could be opened up from application accessories and you can click on terminal uh, on the other hand what you could do is you can click on the left mouse button and click and drag this onto your uh, bar over here so that you get a terminal here so that's like a shortcut you can just click on that i have already done it and if you don't want it you can right click on it and hit on remove from panel okay you can click on the terminal the terminal opens up so you could see the dollar symbol over here so i can type my commands in here so the first command i'm going to type is pwd which works for present working directory <coughs> so it's currently telling me that i am inside this path called as home forward slash home forward slash path uh, bala so if i have to list all the files which are inside this folder called bala what i'm going to do is i'm going to give in the command ls which is for listing so it's telling me that desktop is the only folder which is inside a folder called bala okay and there is one more thing called as ls hyphen l if we give this command it will show us a long listing with the size and stuff okay it will give us more details okay so if you could see here um it gives me all the permissions read write execute permissions we'll cover these later on and uh, we could see the user id the group id the date in which it was created and stuff okay um, i believe this is accessed moreover and uh, today is jan 1 so happy new year folks then uh, there is an I alias for this ls hyphen l which is just ll command both does the same work okay then uh, going on to the next one creating a file okay creating a file is very simple so what you do is you just touch a file okay if you say uh, say i have listed all the contents of my home directory okay home bala directory so this symbol tilde represents my home directory okay um, so if i were to touch a file called file.txt and hit on enter and hit ll enter you could see that i have created a new file and the size of the file is zero okay and i have created it currently so that is 6 33 pm which is 18 18 33 this follows uh, railway clocks then um, I can also do like this uh, I can give in a path which is optional if I give a path it will create the file in that particular path see um, you you have currently seen that uh, uh, desktop folder is over here okay if I create something inside the desktop it's going to appear on my desktop I can click here so you can see that uh, there isn't a file called file.txt on the desktop which I could create okay what I'll do is I'll create 
touch okay inside the desktop i hit capital d and hit on a tab it auto filled for me okay i'm going to create file on desktop dot txt but care should be taken that you do not leave spaces if you are going to leave space you need to uh, include them uh, inside inverted comma so that it understands as uh, it understands this particular stuff as just one particular file okay once i hit on enter i have created a file inside the desktop folder so if i were to go to the desktop you could see that file on desktop over here okay next coming back to the command so creating a directory or a folder it's going to be similar um, the command is mkdir and i can give a path or i need not give a path if i'm going to create it on the same directory okay so let's do that let me hit c l e a r to clear off the screen okay hit l l to show what are the files in my current working directory okay and my current working directory can be found out with the command pwd so inside that i have just two files i'm going to uh, one folder and one file i'm going to create another folder right now mkdir okay called as f o l d e r okay hit on enter hit on ll for long listing it now you can see i have created a new file uh, folder called folder itself okay and similarly i can give it like mkdir forward uh, desktop okay and folder to create this folder on the desktop but i'm not going to do it right now we'll see it in an exercise later on okay so that is for creating a folder now for copy options what we'll do is we'll try to copy a file okay or a directory so for copy command um, so the command is called as cp uh, it's not copy it's rather cp okay followed by uh, the options okay either r or v or f uh, actually you you can you can mix and match among these r is for recursive so if you are copying a directory it will copy everything inside the directory to the destination path then b is for verbose f is for forcing it to accept okay then um, copy <coughs> okay now this goes to the example now let us do that copy command see i have file on desktop right let me take that and move it to my home folder so my home folder is shown over here in the desktop itself uh, the linux just mounts it over there i'm going to open up my home folder as well as well as my desktop all right so let me try to minimize this as well as this so that we can see both at the same time to show where the file is getting created okay so let me hit on clear okay i'm going to copy my file on desktop into my home folder okay i have moved this i have opened this one over here so the command is c p space okay options are r v and f okay r is for recursive v is for verbose f is for forcing it which is like accept the default conditions and what where is my source it is on the desktop so i should hit on d and followed by a tab so that inside the desktop folder i have something called as file on desktop and i am going to move it to where to my present working directory which is slash home bala okay once i hit on enter so that the file from the desktop came on to my home folder okay and you can see that verbosely over here the file on the desktop has been moved to file on the desktop okay now uh, file on my home folder if i were to hit ll command and do a long listing of the current folder i could see this particular folder getting copied over here okay what i could do right now is let me try to copy this file onto my folder okay so let me do that 
CEP. Uh, I want to clear out this part. CEP hyphen RVF file dot txt into my folder. Okay, hit on enter. So now the file has been copied inside the folder. If I were to double click on that, you could see that particular folder is copied. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this folder onto the desktop. The command is cp hyphen rvf. Say suppose I do not put the R for copying the desktop. It's it's not going to uh, work. It will tell the folder is omitted. So let me just hit on F O L D R folder and I'm going to copy it into the desktop folder. Okay, I'm going to copy this one inside this folder. Okay, hit on enter. So you saw that it told me that it's omitting the directory folder, directory called folder and nothing is copied onto the desktop. So if I were to copy that, if I want to copy that, what I should do is if I could hit an up arrow, the previous command would just show up. I have to just include the letter R and hit on enter. Here, now you saw that the new folder got created down here and it is telling me that it has copied the folder onto the desktop and the file.txt which was inside the folder is copied into the folder which is on the desktop. Okay. Perfect. Oops. Let me hit on exit over here. Okay. Coming back to this one. Um, okay, we can use even copy command to rename a particular file. <coughs> that is very simple. Say uh, I want to rename file on desktop to rename in the sense it will copy this onto a different name that's all so if i were to do that <coughs> let me do copy hyphen rvf file on desktop okay right now the file on desktop uh, to which i am pointing to is this file and not this file and how do i know that because i am inside the home directory and not inside the desktop okay file on desktop to file on home.txt and hit on oh you cannot see that dot txt hit on enter now saw that it has changed to file on home okay moving on to the next command moving a file this is similar to cutting and pasting rather than copying and pasting move is similar to copy uh, i need not type m o v e i just need to type uh, <coughs> MV okay that is the uh, command for move and for copy it is going to be CP okay you just take the first and the third character alone and over here we just take the first and the third character okay MV so let us do that right now minimize this let's move a particular let me hit on clear first okay uh, let me try to delete this file on desktop inside my home directory. Okay, hit on delete. Okay, I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this file on desktop. Okay, inside this Bala Bala's home. Okay, which is over here. So the command is mv. Okay, uh, the source file is inside the desktop. Okay, file on desktop should be moved to where to forward slash <coughs> home bala okay oops okay forward slash home forward slash bala hit on enter saw that this particular file which was around here got moved inside here okay now let me delete up this folder okay <coughs> i am going to move this particular folder inside here so for that I have to type mv the folder is inside the desktop folder the folder name folder okay that one I am going to move it inside home bala hit on enter so that it got moved perfect right so and similarly we can rename a particular file over here 
say suppose I